Okay, here we go. This is either the coolest water buffalo GT750 Suzuki you've ever seen in your life, or it's a nightmare, but it was someone's vision, and uh, I think it's pretty cool. So I'm kind of going to give you a walk around, start it up, let you hear it, all that good stuff. Uh, you can make up your mind for yourself. Uh, when I got this bike, it had different shocks. Currently, the shocks that are on it are 12 and a half inch. Um, they're the knockoffs. They're not big deal shocks. You can get them for 100 bucks on eBay all day long. It had a set of 11 inch progressives on it, which set it down lower. The previous owner was not very tall. And it looks really cool that way, but as you can see now, there's not a ton of ground clearance on the bike. It does fine like it is now. But uh, the way it was set up, you really couldn't lean into a corner very far. And the next thing you know, she's scraping the kickstand. So, anyhow, quick walk around. Totally custom. As you can see, it's got drilled discs, a custom paint job, a custom uh, bikini fairing, custom headlight, and the paint theme is Pirates of the Caribbean. Uh, got a dual horns that are very loud, and the custom paint actually extends to the radiator guards. I don't know if you can see that, but they have the metal flake in them. Wheels are stock, forks are stock. The only real flaw in the paint, if you look closely here, you can see I tied it down too tight, or somebody was really heavy and rode it one time, bottomed out the fork there. Also, if you look carefully back here, there was a pad on top of this. I, I removed it, where if you're not really careful at full up bottom, it can touch the radiator guard. So that scratched the front fender. Other than that, the paint is flawless. Um, here's the tank. And if you look up top here, Dead Men Tell No Tales. And I mean, this thing looks so awesome in the sun. It's incredible. The theme is carried over to the side covers, which are also flawless. The wraparound custom tail. The modern mini turn signals. Custom drilled out chain guard. Uh, it, it comes with another mirror. I took it off because you only need one. And that one had a tendency to fold at speed. Uh, this bike is very fast. Um, the way it came geared to me would maybe do 100. Not saying that I did that. I went from a 14 to a 16 2 sprocket on the front, and now uh, I'd say top ends of 110, 115 at 7,000, which we'll definitely pull to. Trying to show you the detail of the dash, and I'll show you some more when I fire it up. And yes, it actually has a backup camera, which is pretty cool. Nice little touch there. This bike has won several shows. Uh, it's not perfect, but I would call it a cafe bobber. Um, modifications, flat slide Makunis. Uh, expansion chambers. And the bike was tuned by Fast by Farachi. 63 horses at the rear wheel. So this is definitely a strong buffalo. Key. Again, custom. When you turn the key on, lights the bike up, your tail light comes on. Now, I have the lights on, but I have a tendency to leave them on. As you can see, the gauges light up when you 
ignite it. Um, for some reason the tack light does not work. And for some reason this temperature gauge over here it was working. It works intermittently. There's an exhaust temperature separate one for each cylinder. For some reason the right cylinder one works intermittently. I think it's the sender. I can't say for sure. Cylinder head and water temperature 71 and 74 so you can tell the bike is dead cold. Hasn't been run today. Hasn't been run in a couple of days. I'm going to start it up right now just so you can see how this bad boy sounds. Now with the flat slides you pull up each choke individually which is what I'm doing right now. You don't have to give it any throttle. You simply start it. So, switch was already on. Turn the main switch on. Touch the starter. Requires a choke for the first start. I can immediately go in and turn the chokes off. other custom touches. The seat is velcroed on. Got access to the battery leads in case you need to charge it. And access right here for the oil tank. You pull that little plug out with needle nose pliers. And as you can see, we got a skull on this side of the oil tank. And on the other side, we have a sight glass. I'm not sure if you can see that very well. But she's getting a little low. It doesn't hold a ton. Holds enough for a couple tanks of fuel. Uh, running uh, Dominator in it, the uh, Amsoil. Good stuff. Anyhow, that's a pretty good walk around. One other thing. Let's see. I'll open the gas cap for you. Tank's real clean. And then your radiator access up here, just velcroed on. Here's your radiator access. So, real slick job with the paint job. Got a receipt for that. Got a receipt for just about everything done to this bike. So she's a beauty. I've had it for a little while. It's very, very cool. Just uh, kind of testing the water to see if maybe somebody else likes it better than me. Thanks for watching.